Chapter 11. Torch and Sonia, Ming's agents, confined in prison cells in Baron's palace, escape to the radio room, overpower the operator, and communicate with Ming. Ming instructs Torch to send out a false order grounding Baron's spaceship in order to clear the way for the Ming bombers and to then destroy the radio to prevent Baron countermanding the order. Dale overhears the order and is captured by Torch and Sonia, who flee with her to the roof of the palace. Flash pursues and corners them and is battling with Torch when Ming's bombers... said this would revive them. They look dead to me. The gas control valve. All open, Your Highness. The castle will be cleared of gas in just a few moments. The radio. Communications have been restored. I'll contact the patrols in a moment. Number five, acknowledging general order from Prince Baron. Baron's patrol is attacking. One of our ships is down already. We'll make for the palace with our prisoners. Hope it's a rescue torch. Ming would rather lose a dozen ships than his captain. Torch was captured by Flash Gordon. But the Emperor will be compensated when he learns that we've brought Dale Arden back to him. I'd rather die than to fall into Ming's hands again. Another one of our ships is down. Full speed ahead to the palace. The enemy has beaten your highness. Two of the ships shot down and the others driven off. Never mind that. Are there no reports on Flash and Dale? The search of the castle and grounds is continuing. Flash! Thank heaven you're safe. Dale and Ronald are gone. Have you seen them? Torch here had Dale prisoner when I grabbed him. If anything has happened to her... You better not, Gordon. One of Ming's ships landed while we were in the moat. If Ming has her, you might need me as hostage. Broca, lock him up. 
Operator, see if you can contact the palace. Wait a moment. If he is Daniel Rollin prisoner, perhaps he'll make the first move. Welcome, Pong and Lady Sonia. I understand you bring us prisoners of importance. Thank you, Your Majesty. Dale Arden and Captain Ronald have been confined in separate apartments and await Your Majesty's pleasure. Please leave us now. I have things to say to these two alone. You'll serve, it seems. Sire. Two of my best ships and crews destroyed. Captain Torch, my ablest soldier and counselor, you have left in the hands of my enemies. Your Majesty has many ships and soldiers, but there's only one Dale Arden. No doubt Prince Baron would be glad to exchange Captain Torch for her. What do you mean? Your captain or your bride, sire? Bring Dale Arden to me at once. No trace of any of them. But we verified the report that one of Ming's ships did actually land at the castle during the gas raid. That settles it. I'm going after Ming. I'll go with you. Will your highness caution our guard to watch the prisoner torch very closely? The Empress Palace calling. Captain Ming would speak to his servant, Prince Baron, over the televisor. <laughs> Baron will speak to Ming, the tyrant. Uh, Baron, I see you have your allies with you. That makes it simpler. One of my ships just brought in a couple of prisoners, Dale Arden and a Captain Ronald. Let me talk to him. Listen, Ming. If you harm Dale Arden, I'll come there and kill you with my bare hands. I am not interested or disturbed by the ravings of a madman. Dale has not been harmed. She will tell you so herself. Step here, my child. Flash. Get me out of here. Get me out. Dale. Dale, listen to me. Don't be afraid. We'll get you out somehow. And now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov, I may exchange this young lady for my captain torch. And what terms do you propose to make, Ming? Plenty of an exchange. Or better than that, I'll toss in Captain Ronald, who is of no importance to me. It's a trick. He'll lay a trap for us. And how do you propose to make the exchange? As your friend Flash is suspicious, I will agree to any arrangements you make. But you must decide now. I'll not renew the offer. Oh, agree, Doctor. Flash, get me out of here. Get me out. He can't trick us if we arrange the terms. In any event, we have no choice. All right, all right, make a deal, make a deal. We will make the exchange on the following terms. Flash Gordon and I will bring Captain Torch. Prepare a ship for Torch. Shall be done, sire. Dungeon. Be sure Dale has refreshments prepared for her before she leaves. Goodbye, my dear. I am sure we will meet again. They're coming. Well, cut me loose. We let you go and we're sure Dale and Ronald are safe. Satisfied? Yes. Your friend Thong will untie you. A message from the Emperor to Dr. Zarkov. 
Start walking. Dale, what is it? Back off quickly. She's been drugged. You mean that devil? Wait. I was given this for you, Doctor, as I left the ship. Dark off. You have no antidote that will revive Dale. Our only chance to live is that you alone bring her to me at once. Delay will be fatal. Think he's telling the truth? Yes, Flash. She's dying. I must take her back to Mains. I'll drop you in Rawlard Barrens before I go. to Maine. After she's revived, I'll see what can be done about contriving an escape. a way of getting into Ming's palace without endangering the lives of the princess or in the prisoners. Then once inside with the help of Zarkov and Captain Stewart... There's an abandoned tunnel. Not the one we were trapped in before. No, this is on the other side of the palace. It leads into the tombs directly beneath the caverns. That is the way it's clear. If it isn't, we'll clear it. Zarkov's rocket ship is serviced and ready. We are ready, Your Highness. Oh, no, Ronald. Numbers won't help us on this trip. Three might succeed where more would fail. You wait for word from us. It well to obey me and bring Dale here, Zarkov. Only I could have awakened her from the death sleep into which I had cast her. I am taking you to my daughter, Princess Ora. And as for you, Zarkov, any attempt to escape will result disastrously both for you and Dale. It's all right, Dale. We're to be the guests of the Emperor for a short time. Come, my dear. that he was conspiring with Prince Baron. And you, are you suspected? The lives of all of us are in constant danger. But so far, suspicion hasn't rested on me. You and I must contrive some means to free the prisoners and make the revolt against Ming a success. Calm learned much of the secret of Ming's power before he died. That secret is now mine. Come, I'll show you. Dale. Laura. I can't say I'm happy to see you. Are Flash and Baron prisoners, too? No, just Dr. Zarkov and I. The Flash will come and save us. Mm -hmm. Sure. Very, very pretty, my dear, and very optimistic. No one is going to save you. Even rescuers could get into the palace. They could not enter this room and live. You have failed to stop Flash Gordon before, Father. Yes, but I'll not fail this time, my dear. You have corrupted my guard, so I place you in this room with an incorruptible guard. That rug will be charged with 4,000 volts of electricity the moment that I go through that door. I had it placed there to guard my own life against treachery while I slept. And now it is to be used to prevent the escape of my prospective bride. 
If you touch that rug after I leave this room, you will be instantly killed. Remember, I have warned you. One of his crafty tricks. Why, Dale, I've stepped on that rug a hundred times and... Stop, Aura. I don't think he was bluffing. Be guarded? No. Captain Student's the heart of the conspiracy to overthrow me. You know, we'll attempt to do something. I'm sure we'll do everything we can to make our entrance possible. Sentry post been doubled as I instructed? Yes, sire. Good. What about the entrance of the deserted tunnel north of the castle? We have always considered that entrance to the old tombs were impossible, sire. It is not of any importance what you consider. We have Flash Gordon to deal with. Have guards to go to that tunnel. Men that you can depend upon. Landing, Flash. We're right near the tunnel entrance. I hope Captain Sutton has been able to leave it unguarded. Have you received instructions about preparing the Earth Girl for her wedding, Lady Sonia? Yes, sire. Is it your Majesty's wish that I go to her tonight? No. Tomorrow will be time enough. Finished me. Sorry, Crow, but our mission's a desperate one. What about your companion here? He's one of us. Sudan places her to help you if he came. If you can, get us into the tunnel. Tell us where the Princess and Dale Arden are locked up. They're in Ming's private sanctum, the north room. I can guide you there. No, you're taking risk enough. I know the way. Let's have a uniform so we look as if we had an official escort if we meet anyone. All right, Your Highness. Inside, quickly. Right. Wind in the crevice is higher up. Well, it doesn't sound like wind to me. Sounds like... Look. We're in Ming's ancient dungeons. Come on, we'll have worse than that to face. This leads to the corridors of the North Wing. Crode had no key for it. Wait out here. I'll go in alone. This may be a trap. 